Here are my top three morning success habits. Guys, throughout my career, I've realized that there are certain things that allow me to function better throughout my day. These certain actions can help me start my day off on the right note, and then throughout my day, I see the benefits of doing these things. Now, sometimes you're not able to do all these things in the morning, and guys, discipline is key there, right? It can be tough. Even if I'm up late, I will often wake up early just to make sure that I'm being disciplined and that I'm doing these things every single morning. One other thing that I wanna say is that you're not required to do this seven days a week, right? You kind of set your own rules. So there are certain things that I only do on weekdays and certain things that I do every weekend. You can choose maybe one or two days a week, but you can do other things that you've disciplined yourself to do on those one or two days. So here are the three things. So number one, get up early and work out. You would be surprised how much of an energy boost you get just by working out. Every morning, I like to start my day with a workout. Before I do anything, before I drink coffee, before I drink pre workout or energy drinks or whatever I like to drink in the morning. So what that means is that when I wake up, I immediately have energy. I might feel tired. And even when you wake up, you might feel tired. You might be like, oh man, I wish I could go back to sleep. I'm tired. I want to stay in bed, right? It's nice and warm. It's freezing outside or whatever it is, right? Well, here's the thing. Your body has naturally recovered throughout your sleep, assuming you're sleeping somewhat efficiently, right? You can use rings like this one. I have a ring. It's called an aura ring. It helps me track my sleep. This is not an ad, by the way, but what I want to say is that it helps me track my sleep performance so that I can adjust different factors in my sleep to allow me to sleep better. And when I wake up, I feel more rested. I go to the gym as soon as I wake up. And when I go to the gym, I might be a little bit tired on the first machine, but let me tell you, as soon as I finish my first workout, right, my first few sets, I'm awake. I'm ready for my day. And so that really helps me jumpstart my day with a workout. Throughout that whole day, I now have higher levels of energy, right? I know that I've already accomplished something for that day. And that allows me to go into my day with a winning mindset. It's beyond anything physical, right? I may want to build some muscle. I may want to have some physical gains, but you're starting starting off on the right foot by working out and it allows you to stay in a winner's mindset and especially on the days when it feels hard to work out those are my favorite days to work out because you know what I'm going to achieve more during that day if I conquer this workout. I kicked butt in the gym and now I'm ready to go for my day. So now nothing can stop me during my day because man, I'm already on a roll. I'm already stacking wins. In a previous video, I talked about the slippery slope of success. Triple S baby. The slippery slope of success starts in the morning. I'm headed down that slope. So the whole day becomes win after win after win after win. And even if it's somewhere in there, maybe I don't quite get the win, maybe a small loss. Well, my momentum is headed in the right direction. My momentum is headed towards success. And so that allows me to continue looking at my life and looking at my business through the lens of success, the lens of success, the lens of motivation, the lens of achievement. Now, the second habit that I love to do is to read. So I make sure I read every single day. So before I start any of my work, before I start any of my meetings, I make sure that I consume some sort of content that helps me expand my knowledge. Admittedly, it's not all always a book, right? I have a lot of books that I love reading, but sometimes it's just an audiobook or a podcast, right? Something informational that feeds my brain with the right information that I need for that day. It doesn't even have to be motivational. It could just be something that's informational that gives me a deeper look at some aspect of what I'm working on. So let's say I'm working on expanding my marketing in my business, right? So, okay, I might listen to a marketing podcast. And the first thing that happens in my day when my brain is most receptive, I'm getting all these new marketing ideas. So maybe even while I'm at the gym, while I'm running on the treadmill, while I'm working out, I'm listening to a podcast or an audiobook, And then I hear something really cool about marketing. Now all of a sudden my brain's working. It's like, oh man, that's good. So I'm thinking about my business. I'm adding new ideas and new perspectives into my mind during that time in the morning. And that success habit helps me expand my business. It helps me think about my business in ways that I haven't thought about it before. And even one of these little nuggets, one of these little ideas, if we can grasp that in the morning and we plant it into our mind, we can let that grow throughout the day. And maybe sometime during the day, we can try applying it, right? We can start implementing some of these things and helping 
our business to grow by using these principles or these ideas or these different strategies that we're listening to or reading in the morning. Lots of good content out there, guys. Make sure you're reading or listening to somebody that you really look up to. The one standard that I like to judge by before I listen to somebody's advice is, do I want to be like that person? And I've always naturally been this way, but there's actually really, really good theory behind it that I've been studying recently. But when you look at somebody and you see what they've achieved, have they achieved what I hope to achieve? Right? That's one. Number two, what is their lifestyle like right now? Do I want my lifestyle to be like that? And have they done what they're trying to tell me to do? So if they haven't done those things, well, maybe I shouldn't be taking advice from them, right? We want to make sure that the person that's helping us go along that path has already achieved what we want to achieve. So you might be thinking, where can I find those people? Well, a great place is books. So when you're reading a book, has this person achieved what I hope to achieve? I'm not copying this person. Don't get me wrong. We're not copying people. But if this person is doing a hundred million and he's in a similar business that I am, he's already achieved those things. So if I read his book, I can probably pick up one or two things that are gonna help me. Or maybe if I listen to his podcast, I'm gonna hear him make a comment or I'm gonna see the way that he thinks and I could be like, oh wow, that's an interesting perspective. And I can apply that to my business somewhere. So guys, knowledge is power. Even just 15 to 20 minutes a day consistently makes a huge difference. And that's one habit that helps me be more successful. And then finally, silence and meditation. Guys, we have all this information. We have so much noise coming in. Sometimes we have a lot of noise coming out if we talk a lot, right? But sometimes silence, just sitting there in silence and thinking, that could help us really be successful. I like to spend every morning with at least 20 to 30 minutes of just silence. No phone, no distractions, just me thinking about maybe all these ideas that I just got during my workout or maybe something that I was thinking about yesterday and I didn't get a chance to fully process it. And now I listened to a podcast today and that gave me a new idea. And so now I have all these ideas bouncing around my head and I find silence really helpful to help me organize my day. So I need to think about, okay, I need to do this and then that and this, and I need to accomplish these three tasks during the day. These are my main three tasks for the day. Everything else is extra. As long as I accomplish this, this and this, I'm gonna be good for the day. I've achieved success for that day. My day is technically over, but now I can achieve bonus tasks. It's a slippery slope of success. As we stack those wins, we're like, well, you know, I did my three key things for today, but then I did another two. Why don't we just do, you know, a couple more? Maybe I could do one or two more. And now I could get ahead on my work. Now I'm not falling behind. I'm not worried about my huge to-do list of 100 things. I'm just focused on three key things for the day. I'm not getting distracted and I'm cutting out all these things. And all of this happens during our planning stage in the morning. So in the morning, one success habit that helps me is silence. And in silence, I can organize my day, I can plan my day, and I can be strategic about the time I actually spend working. Guys, I hope this was helpful. I'll see you all in the next video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.